got our corner room at the Hotel Canada. We stay here every time we come to Rome because the rooms are really spacious, the staff is really nice, and it has a lot of character. And look, look at that ceiling. <laughs> and the rest of the room. I have a sitting room. It's a favorite for a reason. It's also right down the street from Termini, the train station, so it makes it really easy to get around. Same with the uh, Metro. The stop is like just right around the corner. So it's a favorite for a reason. I have been to Rome multiple times, but it always just feels like coming home. I don't know what it is. I have wanted to go to Rome since I was a really small child. And ever since I have come to Rome, the love has only grown. So we always stay here at the Hotel Canada when we do too. And it's just very homey um, between the staff and the way it's decorated. I like that they're a little, they have a little bit of style. Either way, today, we're going to one of my favorite art museums in the world. We're going to the Borghese Villa. I always get the artist and the villa name mixed up. It's Borghese Villa to see um, Bernini's sculptures. There's a lot of other art there and I will definitely point out some of my favorites because the sense of humor that a lot of the artists had even then uh, with the things they put I don't know if it had actually a sense of humor. I just find it humorous <laughs> of the, but the humor that's in the art pieces, it just, it tickles that funny bone. So that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna, normally we'd just take a Metro, but my mom's still on crutches. Uh, I think tomorrow when we go to the Coliseum, we're gonna do the Metro though, cause it goes like right there. Uh, if you are wanting to see a shorter, just like the highlights of this video, um, you can always follow us on um, TikTok. And if you just want to see the pictures that I get of like the inside of the villa, the outside of the villa, all of that, um, that would be following us on our Instagram, plus my little travel log notes that I write on Instagram, because I just have a lot to say all the time. Either way, I'm all ready, my face is on, so let's get going. Also, just an FYI, there was someone screaming outside our window, like until 12.30 at night, <laughs> until, I'm almost thinking more like 1, 1.30. So uh, that was an interesting experience, and we found out today it was because there was a bunch, there's like a um, high school group or something, but Jesus, someone got smashed <laughs> and was just at the top of their lungs. I don't even know what they were singing because they were screaming it, I'm like, I hope their friends got that on video to post all over the internet so that they'd never live that down. Traveled all the way to Rome to scream at the top of my lungs in a quiet neighborhood. <laughs> Honestly, anyway, just my little side note. I had to share that tidbit with you because if I had to, had to listen to whatever rendition of that song that was, then so do you. <laughs> so we're just waiting for our taxi outside the Hotel Canada. And where'd you say we got our tickets for the board game? From tickets. It's T I Q E T S. Yeah, so I would recommend getting your tickets ahead of time for everything if you're traveling traveling through Italy. Because if you want to go, so do about two thousand more people. <laughs> and if you just wait in the line, sometimes you're kinda out of luck. So just I'm a not planning. even sure if there's a line for Bugazi. I think you have oh, to have, just a ticket. You have to have a time. To yeah, it. yeah. I know some places are like uh, the other ones. You can wait in line. Ah, taxi's here. My mom is always looking at maps. <laughs> it doesn't help me much. No, but you try. I don't know where are we. Oh, maybe. It'll... I don't know wherever it says you are here. <laughs> in Italian. <laughs> Either way, we're here at the Villa Borghese. I think that's the actual building, but there's a nice park that's all around it. Really beautiful. It was someone's estate at one point and all the artwork was made for the estate and left there. So that's kind of what's special about it, quite frankly, is yes. that everything kind of complements where it was because that's where it was supposed to be. Anyway, so we're gonna try to figure out the line situation because you do still have to like collect your physical tickets and they want you to be here about 20 minutes early so we're early even for that because we're always early <laughs> <laughs> my mom once made a mistake on the timing for a flight and we had like a three hour wait mind you like i was still pretty young so like a three hour wait 
with like nothing to do because this was before the Wi-Fi was just everywhere. Um, I was cranky. My mom felt guilty, but I was just cranky. Not really so much at you, it's just cranky. Yeah. It's kind of the end of a trip, and so I was like, oh, I'm over it. <laughs> All of this hurry up and wait. <laughs> little floof balls they're so cute <laughs> so you do have to turn in your bags and backpacks and stuff you can't take those in and then there's another line <laughs> even though you get tickets there's another line so we'll see how long this goes because we all know i don't like standing oh good good oh my goodness i forgot what it looks like in here So I think the sculpture of Bernini's we're about to approach is the Rape of Persephone, if I remember right. One second. And just, you can just see like the detail. Look at that, like you can see the handprints and everything. Oh, and they're supers. One thing that just blows my mind is this was someone's home, like someone's private residence. Yes. And this is what their private residence looked like. It just blows my mind. I'm like just waiting for that to move. <laughs> it looks so lifelike and like I'm just waiting for it to move. This is my favorite piece coming up. It's the Daphne and Apollo. And it's my favorite because I too would turn into a tree to avoid a man. It's just one of my favorite art pieces ever. And I already told my mom, we're gonna have to go to the gift shop so I can get a mini. <laughs> oh look, flying horses. Yeah, that's the ceiling. Here's another one of Bernie's pieces. That is obviously David. Yes, Bernie's David. I always like it, like look at his facial expression. There's so much detail. He's like, you can see him frowning. And someone lost their head. I don't know what's going on with that lady, but she looks like she's in trouble. I wonder if he hit a home run. favorite paintings, the, the dogs in heaven. Oh, hold on, I'll show you. Proof that all dogs are good dogs. They all go to heaven. I will take no other explanation for there being a pupper up in the clouds. These had to be gladiators, because look at them. They're, They're like- killing him. Let's take a picture. Yes, I know. I'm not a fan of it either. My mom said no taking pictures of them killing animals in the mosaic, so. I'm not taking pictures of them killing animals in mosaics. Proof that you can be a full ass adult, grown adult, and if your mom says no to something, it's just a no. <laughs> My mom was mentioning that the eagle that's with the gentleman here is like a sign of Rome. So I'm wondering if he was an emperor. I don't really have descriptions per se. So yeah. that's fun. I get to make up my own stories. He befriended an eagle. Kind of interesting, the gentleman that's coming out of the wall here. 
just, I was just telling my mom about how I learned in one of my ancient Roman history classes that Caesar Augustus was not one of those generals that rode into battle. He liked to model himself like the bust after Alexander the Great, but every time there was a battle coming up that he was supposed to like lead, he would just come down with it. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> I can't go into work today. <laughs> Mom's hobbling rather quickly into this room because it has hieroglyphs all around the room. Yeah, that is unusual black um, marble. Let's see what we're looking at here. And then below her is more like that. A very Egyptian themed room. Let's look, there's a sphinx. I'm not good at riddles, so I'm gonna leave that sphinx alone. What's this one behind you? That one? It's by Bernini, you said. Okay. There it is again. We're in a cute little elevator going up. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a cute one. It's like one of those old-fashioned ones where you have to manually open the doors. There's more puppers in heaven. I love it. That lady does have a lot of children. And that guy looks not so happy to be seeing an angel right in front of him. <laughs> It's not an ideal place to be on a horse at all. There it is. An angel that just got done having fun with a prostitute. I didn't know angels were allowed to do that, Mom. Well, it's really called Cupid and Psyche. I don't know if Psyche is a prostitute. Even the monkey has jewelry in this picture. Look at him. Antique dealer shop. An antique dealer shop. With a little cat. Oh, finally a kitten. I'm having an inception moment. There's pictures within pictures. Within pictures. <laughs> Jupiter and Juno. Oh, they have little cupids in the background. And a peacock. I guess I'm allowed to get this picture even though there's animals being harmed. It's Diana hunting. <laughs> this is called the toilet of Venus. This person's going through way too much to not be a saint. Saints are always uh, pictured either doing something very holy or suffering. Ah yes, Saint Sebastian. Tell me this painting doesn't look weirdly like Adam Levine. Look at him. I call time travel. Oh my god, she has a baby unicorn. Aww. I would now too like to get a baby unicorn. It looks adorable. My mom's fascinated with this guy picking a thorn out of his foot. Ouch. <laughs> my mom's like, she looks mysterious. I'm like, no, she looks annoyed, which I can relate to. <laughs> As someone who's not patient. Well, I loved every minute of that. <laughs> it was beautiful. I, this museum just, I could just keep coming over and over and over again and I would never get bored. Bernini's work really just, uh, is something else, huh, Mom? Absolutely. And a lot of old Roman stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Renaissance. It, was... it has the jesus -y pictures, but it also has a lot of, um, ancient Roman and Greek mythology stuff, which is more my speed. <laughs> All right, now it's time to find some lunch, which shouldn't be too hard in Rome. No, no, no it's two o'clock. <laughs> I forgot. It's supposed to be about that death hour when yeah. shuts down. It's not like the U.S. where you can just eat any time. They have, they shut down like the middle of the day, I would say, and then you're just kind of screwed. Your SOL. Or just have to get fast food, take your pick. <laughs> Oh, how much were the tickets? Um, roughly. I think it was about 
60 euros a piece. 60 euros a piece, okay. I mean, worth it, and like to be able to preserve all that art and everything, definitely worth it. Just, I was a little curious. We found a cool place to have some lunch. Look at that, that's ancient Roman walls. walls. Maybe even some of their aqueducts, I don't know, but it's just like all over the city, you'll see modern, modern, and then something that's literally ancient. <laughs> There's my mom. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. It's a cool little location. It's pleasant. Very smart.